Hey, Demetrius, can you walk me back into how you ended up back at quarterback, how that whole thing kind of evolved? Yeah, um, definitely a crazy roller coaster of events. Uh, I think after the pit game last year, you know, I was, uh, there was going to be like a certain package for me to play quarterback a little bit. So I was excited about that. And then, you know, I got contact trace. So obviously couldn't play those like uh, the Duke game. So it kind of hurt that whole quarterback situation thing. But of course, that was still in my mind. But I was still told I'd be able to play linebacker and do that whole package thing. So uh, I guess that kind of brought the whole quarterback thing back up. And then uh, I guess with Tuck leaving, that kind of brought an opening. So Coach Collins just brought me in and asked really uh, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to play, if I wanted to stick it out at linebacker, or if I wanted to bring some more, a little more heat or a little more excitement to the quarterback room. Uh, playing quarterback is what I used to do and still love to do. So I was saying, uh, why not bring the old me back? So cut off a few pounds, of course, and in the quarterback room, loving it again, like always. Next question comes from Rod McKenzie from 247 Sports. Hey, Demetrius, it is switching back to quarterback. Is that like riding a bike? You know, you, you uh, go back to it, it, you know, and you don't lose a step, or did you have to go through a process once you moved back? Uh, no, it was pretty much just like riding a bike. Of course, right now you put the training wheels back on to learn the offense and whatnot and learn the guys that you're working with. But other than that, it was just like jumping right back on the bike. Uh, everything's still there. Even when I wasn't a linebacker, I still found ways to throw just to, you know, check and see if I still had it in me just a little bit. And of course it was still there and it's always been there. So uh, I was definitely able to jump right back on that bike. Next question comes from Ken Segura from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Hey, first thing I just want to double check, Demetrius. You said it was the packages for the pit game, you said? Um, yeah, it was the practice before a pit. Okay. Um, and then also just kind of the first, you know, few periods of on Tuesday, what was that like for you as far as kind of feeling your way through and, and making throws and making reads and so forth? Uh, on Tuesday, of course, it was, it was definitely a little different from being on the uh, defensive side. Of course, the linebacker side, usually you're a little tired going into those drills, uh, getting done with Coach Dak. But uh, once I got the, you know, you get the jitters out. I, of course, after the first play, after I did a nice somersault that came out of nowhere that we laughed about on film. But after I got that out of the way and gathered myself and my nerves, uh, I was pretty much good to go the rest of the day. So it was it was great. Great to be back out there with the ball in my hands. You were scrambling or like when did you summer? How did you somersault? Uh, I was scrambling just to throw the ball. And, you know, I, my my brain was thinking throw the ball away or try to pump fake. But this is not basketball. So, you know, and I ended up in, jumping in the air somehow. So, hey, I'm as confused as you are. <laughs> Another question from Brad McKenzie. Yeah, going back to the maybe that special packages, do, do you see yourself as someone that maybe could come in and maybe inside the 10 yard line, uh, use your size, uh, you know, your running ability? Oh, yes, sir. I definitely see myself, uh, you know, red zone, high red zone area, um, finishing off drives, which of course is something that we got to do because we can move the ball down the field. Excellent. It's those little things like the NC State game. Um, can't count how many times we got down there, but can't really finish. And if we do finish, that's a lot of points that we put up on the board. And I can definitely see myself helping out the team in that way, uh, playing the quarterback position. Another question from Kelly Quinlan. What is one thing that you're, you know, is maybe the most difficult aspect of this? And what was maybe the easiest part of the transition back to quarterback for you? Uh, the hardest position, uh, hardest thing about it, I would say it's probably getting more reps because, you know, you got to switch in reps with guys. Um, of course, as of right now, I'm going with the kind of the B and C group. So it's kind of getting a lot of reps at it uh, with it being new, of course, and then being a new playbook. Uh, definitely still understanding it very quickly and easily. It's just the repetition I'll need that few more, definitely a few more practices. So this spring is definitely gonna help uh, 
building up to when we actually started to put the ball down. And then the easiest part, like I said, has been uh, definitely being in the film room, asking Coach P questions, uh, Joe B, Coach Choice, asking all those guys questions, even Jeff and Jordan helped me out as well with uh, reads and calls and things like that, just so I can bring, so they can bring me up to speed so we can all be on the same level when it comes time to compete. Okay, we've got time for two more for Demetrius. We'll take one from Jeff Schultz from The Athletic and then from Allison Mastrangelo from WSB. So, Jeff, please go ahead. Yeah, sorry I don't know this, but what, what originally prompted your move from quarterback to linebacker? And usually once guys get put on defense, they enjoy the fact that they can hit somebody else as opposed to being hit. So <laughs> right. it's just like the first part of the transition and then the second part of the transition. Uh, really the first part of the transition was just the love of having the ball in my hands. Uh, it was definitely different on defense because you only get the ball in your hands so much if you can get in the way of a pass or strip the ball away, which uh, in most cases I was able to do. But uh, growing up from playing rec league on Saturdays where it's blazing hot outside and you got your little tykes on, uh, I've always had the ball in my hand, uh, either playing running back or quarterback, and that's what I've pretty much grown up loving to do. And uh, not being able to do that, of course, it hurt. But like, like I said, when I came in, I was ready to do whatever it took to get on the field and help the team. And uh, I guess with that quarterback opening, I just felt like it was a call to bring it, bring the old arm back out again, take it off the shelf, put it back to work. Okay, Allison, if you could go ahead and wrap us up with Demetrius. Yeah, I guess to follow that up. So were you like actively pursuing, like you wanted to move to quarterback? Like how did that conversation go down or did coach approach you? Um, I would say he got, he approached me um, once the season kind of slowed down. Uh, we started to get our plan for the off season and things like that. He wanted to sit me down, have a nice one-on-one, -on -one, man man-on-man meeting like that and asked me what I wanted to do because, uh, of course, he knew that there would be an opening at the quarterback position, and he knew that's what I used to do. Uh, he kind of brought it to me, and I kind of jumped on it the first second he offered it, just so I could let him know I was serious about it, and uh, I'm not going to look back. <laughs> 